friends today i am going to show you the difference between the centos ufi installation and the centos legacy installation both are same legacy and the ufi the difference come during the partition of hard disk because uh, ufi supports more than 2 tb of hard uh, file size and uh, in legacy uh, there is two options one is if we have a less than 2 tb space and the second one we have more than 2 tb space so i am showing the difference now we am i starting in legacy install center 7 and ufi install center is linux 7 actually both have the same options only the one option dif different in both of them and this is comes during the partition of hard disk i'm using it in the virtual machine oracle virtual box the pr same process you can continue in the laptop or you have desktop or in the virtual box i'm using the single ios i have single ios image of center 7 and using the, the that for both my centros ufi installation and the centros legacy installation as you can see in ufi and the legacy both have same options this is the welcome screen we have to choose the language i'm choosing english india continue and comes to the legacy in legacy i'm also using the english india and continue in UFI. Here we will choose the 10 times one according to us. Uh, this is for me. It's already Asia, Kolkata. This is the network time. If we have network time server, or we want to use the network time server uh, available globally, or we have domain server, then we can use that as a network time server. Network time server is required if uh, we will join this machine with the domain because uh, to connect with domain. Time in that client machine and then the domain server must be the same. Here we have to define the host name of the our server or the domain server or the IP address, just like this. Anything else or the host name is just write down the host name like dash dot etc and add it. Now. when i will accept it or okay it, it will try to connect it but right now i'm just showing you so there is no need and done mm, now this is a software selection in software selection we have different options minimum install computer and mode server with gui gnome desktop i am using this machine as a desktop so i will choose gnome desktop desktop we have a other options also use backup client genome application or office suite productivity but we will always install that after the installation i am using just only genome desktop done and the kdump disable the and kdump because kdump is usually if we have a kind of problem so but now i am not using it is the security policy in the seven we have this all option the policy is enable i am using the default one as a beginner always use the default one because if uh, in the linux we have a linux policy of security so it will come come complicated for you for now you just only the default and the installation destination here is the difference i will choose i will configure partition now comes to the legacy in legacy the time also the same okay and the software selection same as mm, ufi then kdom same as disable the kdom and the installation destination now i am choosing i will configure partition Then here I have already. Actually, this is an installed one, so I am removing this type of partitions. And this one, 
delete all other file systems delete now i have a 16 gb space use a standard partition if you have more than one hard disk then use lvm if not then use a single for standard partition now this is the mount options here is the difference now comes to the legacy and here see the difference and actually i have give you this is also a installed machine and i've been installing over it standard partition plus and the mount points here is the mount point both have slash slash boot there is a slash boot slash efi home where track and in legacy slash boot slash home where track and here is difference bios boot and in the, in the efi slash boot slash efi first look in the legacy the bios boot will the bios boot partition we will make bios boot partition if we have a storage space more than 2 tb remember more than 2 tb because in ms storage does not support the storage space more than 2 tb so if as you can see i have only 16 gb space so i don't require it but to show you i am making it the required recommended size is 200 mb actually it will write the information about the uh, hard disk bios boot yep. and here i will make slash you must minimum requirement to make the partition you you can just make two partition first swap and the second one is sorry first is slash and the second one is swap swap at least size of the memory i am using 1g 1gb ram so 1gb swap partition so you can see bios boot slash and the swap okay minimum minimum you require two partitions slash and the swap i have created here bios boot because if we have space more than 2 tb then we must require bios boot partition for the legacy type installation or the uh, partition label with the ms dos i will show you in the next step the difference ms dos if you have a space more than 2 tb then must create it if you don't have a space more than 2 tb you don't need to create it okay done now come to the legacy here slash root partition mount point and the second one is swap 1024 and in the ufi you must make a slash boot slash efi partition because the boot process in the legacy and in the ufi both are different in efi after the bias step it will look for the bootable media or in legacy it will look for the mdr but in efi it will find the file here slash boot less efi when you will see the boot process complete boot process you will get the difference right now just remember that it will file the boot it will find the bootable files in slash boot less efi that's why we must make it the recommended size is 200 mb i am making it 500 okay add mount point so the difference in the partitions in legacy in ufi you must create a slash boot slash efi partition slash partition and swap partition in legacy you required a minimum slash and swap bios boot if you have space more than 2 tv and now in ufi we done partitioning now turn here c in ufi it will label the partition table with gpt 
so here is the uh, label over the hard disk will be GPT but in the legacy mode the label over the hard disk over the partition hard disk it will be MS-DOS this is the main difference in the legacy and in the UFI in legacy the label of label is MS-DOS over the hard disk and in the UFI label is GPT over the partition table or hard disk so accept the changes here and network host name enable it configure it mark this option automatically connect to this network when it is available because uh, if you don't mark it after the restart you will not able by default connect be off you have to manually enable it and here set the host name of your machine i am using test apply done and in the same ms dos and accept changes and network host name enable the network configure same same as ever we did it last time general save and here i am using the host name test start the installation in the UFI because I am using a single iOS so maybe it will hang if we start the installation in both in both machines so here set the root password I am setting the send to us as a root password remember it if you are using a weak password you have to press twice done because after one time it will show you you have provided a weak password the password is shorter than 8 character press done again to use anyway so press done twice now a starting package installation process user creation it is must you must create a user because login is a root in the CentOS or in the Linux is not recommended but if you don't if you want you can login as a root so I am here creating a user like um, name is test user username is test user and uh, password is same as center as I am using you can choose the different one okay if you want to use when to make this user as a super user or as a administrator mark this option or if you don't require then do not use it let's see first option in the advance okay leave it we will see it in the next video in the next chapters Done. because i have provided a weak password so i have to press done twice now it's stolen the file same as in the legacy after beginning installation we have to set the root password and the user creation ok but now I am stopping the legacy because the purpose of this video to show you the difference between the legacy and the UFI and now you can you have seen that so here comes the end of this video after the installation you have to just restart the system so virtual machine and just login as with a user or with root